Cool. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Storytellers of Mallorca podcast. We have Stefan Arons with us today, and he's going to be sharing his story about being in Mallorca and, and what drew him here. Stefan, hey, welcome. Thanks for coming along. Thanks for inviting me and having me here today. I'm yeah. uh, really, really um, excited to hear your questions. And, yeah, um, fantastic. So, so. so tell us, first of all, where are you from? I'm, uh, I'm originally from Germany. I am okay. Germany, born in Cologne. Oh, Cologne, I'm, yeah. I'm... Uh, 49 years old, no, 49 years young now, <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's yeah. where I come from. Yeah. All right, so how long have you been here? How long have you been living mm. in Mallorca? I decided to go to Mallorca in 19... no, 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 not 19... in 2006. <laughs> so I'm, I'm here since uh, 16 years now, almost 17 okay. years, and uh, yes, I'm enjoying my time here. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. What, what, were you, um, what were you doing before you decided to, uh, to come to Mallorca? I've always been a, a graphic designer, I worked in different um, um, public relations agency, graphic design studios in Germany, in Cologne, and uh, then I decided to to do something else uh, because mm. I have the luck with my job with graphic design I can work from all over the world and yeah. um, at this time I thought yeah why not let's let's use it yeah yeah I mean, I mean Mallorca is a lovely place to be most of the year round so um, sorry again how many how long have you been here how many years 16 16 yeah, years yeah, yeah, so you've yeah. seen a few changes in this time yeah I saw a few changes but I heard before I came there were even more changes because there was no autopista or something right, a few yes. years ago so yeah. Yeah, so I yeah. came when everything was uh, yeah. in order already. Yeah. So why why do you think Mallorca drew you? What was the reason that you went to Mallorca instead of going to mm. somewhere else, some of those other mm. beautiful places around the Mediterranean? So yeah, I have to say Mallorca didn't drew me. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> because it was not my my first selection. Yeah. I, okay. I just decided in Cologne in Germany. Um, because I was 32, I said, I, said uh, I need to do something else in my life. This is too boring, an exclamation marks are here yeah. to settle down in the city. I just want to, I need more from life. And I wanted to go to Japan or USA and something. And my, my partner at this time, she said, oh, no, why not Mallorca? And I said, Mallorca, Mallorca is the island of the Germans for partying, for yeah, drinking yeah, beer. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. There, there is nothing to work except of uh, Balaman in Arena. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. But then um, I saw um, advertising in the magazine and in the newspaper. They were looking for a graphic designer for a newspaper here on the island. And I, um, yeah, I called them and they invited me and six weeks later I was here. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. excellent, excellent. So And then I discovered Mallorca to... Because because I only I have to say I only knew Arenal the, yes. from the German side, yes. and this was the first time that I saw um, yeah, Mallorca from a different side, and uh, yeah. yeah, I started to love it. Yeah. Oh. So when you first came, you came for an interview, mm. and then you had a bit of a look around. Yeah. And then you went home and then they, they notified you a little bit later on that you had the job. Yes, Is that yes. right? At yeah. the same day they told me, I can oh, have the job. Yeah, yeah. But um, oh. they said, but you have only six weeks. So do what you can to come here because then you get the job. And I, yeah, I came oh. back, I told my partner in Germany, so we need yeah, to leave in six yeah, weeks. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we did. Yeah. Well, wow. Wow. Six weeks. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's <laughs> folding everything yeah. and putting. So, yeah. Wow, that's uh, that's a, a very short time. A short span. time, but yeah. like I said, I was always a freelancer, so I had no job where, where I had to quit or something. So I was always working on my own. So it was yes. not that difficult to yeah. leave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. But no, um, there's also now mm. just well, just come out in the last few months about um, people working here. I'm trying to think of the name of it. It slipped my mind at the yeah. moment. Um, working here with a, a visa, so that you can travel around a lot. Not only in Spain, but parts of Europe. I can't remember the name of it. Um, mm. But uh, I mean, it's offering another opportunity for freelance people to come, oh, yeah. come to Mallorca yeah. and, and, and to work. Yeah, yeah. So, and uh, I just uh, discovered that Mallorca is more just than just the Arenal or, or like the, the parties, it's yeah. much more, and uh, yeah, I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in that time, you would have had a few challenges, a few things to have to, you know, to come to grips with with a, with a Spanish <clears throat> lifestyle. I have to say the, the biggest challenge was when I came, because I came on my own, I split with my part partner before I came here, okay, yeah, so okay. I came completely alone. Um, and you have to see, uh, 16 years ago, 
the the situation of flying and everything was a bit different. It was not that global yeah, yet, yeah. so uh, yes. the flights were quite expensive and it started to be like Ryanair very cheap to fly. But at this time it was, was quite a big thing, so I had a um, say goodbye party, how you say, yes, in Germany. Yes, yes, yes. I said, oh, you're going to Mallorca, so <laughs> far away to Spain. Yeah. So, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. so this was my first challenge to be on my own with uh, just school English. Yeah, my English was like yes. German, what yeah. we learned in school. No Spanish and start an English company, you know, for a German magazine, only one German worker there. So this was a challenge to, to yeah, for the first time to be somewhere and to find a job, no, not job, not, but uh, apartment yes. and a car yes. and everything. Yes. Yes. And, uh, but I have to say, I would do it again. This was, uh, was yeah. a really nice part. It was a challenge. Yeah. But I would do it again, yes. you know, yeah, because yeah. all the experience you get there, you meet people, good people, bad people, talking about telling you things which are not true or helping you or helping you not. So, yes. but it was nice. Yeah, I, I liked it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And coming here, the, the English, but you, the, the job that you had was with a, a German paper. Yeah, it was a it was a magazine about magazine. poker and gambling, and it was in okay. German and in English and in Spanish. So my part was a German. Okay, and okay. So in a way, you you, you started <clears throat> to learn. Yeah. The languages yeah. as you yeah. were here. Yeah. The, yeah. the Spanish people they tried to to teach me uh, Spanish, yeah, mm -hmm. but they they were a bit stupid. Sorry, <laughs> uh, they teach me only the bad things, you know, like typical things, you know. Like, yeah, so yeah, I didn't yeah. Learn anything all the there. all the bad yeah. words. Yeah, yeah, the bad words. Yeah. So it didn't yeah. help that much. <laughs> yeah, it could happen in some you know, circumstances or situations, but um, yeah, yeah, but not yeah. not, a, not, a lot not of when you come and you you don't understand any word no. in Spanish. So. Yeah. No. And and 16 years ago, with the um, bureaucracy and things of, of having to, to to live here and to be here, um, was that a difficult time for you having to go through that process? I mean, did you have did you become a, a resident here, or are you, you still? Yeah, I just uh, I, straight away I, I became a resident here because I loved it. I wanted to to stay here, but I have to say. After one year, because uh, I didn't work for them, I stopped working because mm -hmm. typical Mallorca, it was like a, not a fraud company, but like they were not paying the people, blah, blah, blah. So what you hear okay. sometimes here in Mallorca. So this also was one of the companies. And I was uh, was about to go to back to Germany because in Germany, everything is fine. Everything is yes. organized and the yeah. contract is a contract and yeah. the word is a word. Um, but then, um, yeah, to be honest, I met my last uh, no no the the, the new partner here yes. in Mallorca she yes. said come on stay here you can stay with me so she is the reason we are best yes. friends still and uh, she's the reason why 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 I stayed here and um, I never regret it yeah yeah no. and and yeah because regarding um, your your question i think 2007 there was a crisis huh? yes there yeah. was a crisis <laughs> uh, economical crisis crisis and this, this was not easy because everybody was talking about crisis crisis in, in my area, it was not graphic design, was not, we had no crisis, right. but uh, you could feel it everywhere. Yeah. They said before I came, there was a golden age. Yeah? So when I came, it, it, it was over because there was crisis and right. things closed and things. Yeah. Right. Different. So with that um, sort of situation, was that one of the, the bigger struggles that you had or were there other things that, you know, living here, I mean, it can't be rosy all the time, but were there certain things that you had challenges with? Hmm. Hmm. Or did it all seem just to just to? Sure. To I think I think if you, um, I always tell the people in Germany, mm. if, 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 who want to come here or uh, want to, uh, if they ask me how to survive here in Mallorca, I s always say, just be honest to the people. Don't talk too much rubbish. around rubbish. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, be nice to the people, and then yeah. you can do it. Yeah. Yeah. So, and this is the the secret, I think. Mm. And so I did. Yeah, I made some friends and contacts. The bad guys, I left, and you yes. know. And then you, if you find two, three people, and it's easy here because we're all for one reason here. We're all, um, what do you say, outcasts? Yes. No. yes. Yeah, outcasts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're all outcasts, so we have yeah. the same energy and the same feelings for this, yeah. and then this brings people together. I yes. think, and this so. I, I, no, I have no no bad. No, no, no. nothing, nothing like no. that at all. When you when you came, uh, did you decide to live around the the German speaking area, or did you sort of make a? Of course, a if point? you don't speak Spanish and English, yeah, yes. at the beginning, you of course you are surrounded by um, a German people, but they are they. I met people that were living here long for a long time, so mm -hmm. you come to if you start to 
go in clubs or something, you know, like I played football, you meet people right, there. Yes, so, and then yes. you come into the networks. It's yeah. how it works here. Yeah. 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 Sport's a good medium, isn't Sports. it? To, to, to meet people, to break into. Of course, bars and. Yes. Yeah, yeah, also, yeah. but. Uh, yes. yeah. 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 No, but it's more sports and networking yes. and doing a good job and, you know, be reliable. Well, that the people can trust you and that you yeah. do your job in it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, it is because we had a, a, a past guest on here and he, he was playing rugby, um, and uh, Philippe, and he um, was the first weekend he went away for the rugby tour. Um, he made like 80 new friends straight away. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. you know, and then from that, the communication started. You know, okay, well, how do I do this? Or what's the best approach? Or is there somebody to do that? Mm. So sport is a, is yeah, a, yeah. a good medium. Sport, really. music, yeah. Yeah. Music, yes, yeah, 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 so. yeah, 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 yeah. Music, music as well. So you know, it, it's it's a um, it's very brave, really, isn't it, to, to to move away, even though you think, okay, we're we're still in Europe, we're still mm. not that far from home, and now it's closer because mm. the, mm. the the flights are a lot quicker yeah. and they're a yeah. lot more yeah. numerous. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but even back then, it was still a big decision. It is. A, it was a big decision because in Cologne, um, I, have, I have three sisters and my parents and everything mm. in Cologne, and a big friends group and everything. So, yeah. but I always have been the one, the rebel, how to say, you yes. know, I, if if yeah. because all my friends in Germany back, they said, if someone is doing this, it's it, it is you, yeah. you know. So <laughs> there's always someone in the group who's yeah. doing something yeah. extra, yeah. No? Yeah. And, um, and like I say, I never regret it, and I yeah. always tell the people in Germany. If you want to come over here because it's nice life, you have to learn things here. Yes. But um, how, what can be better to know somebody who's already there, who speaks yes. those languages? You know, use me. Yes. And yes. Uh, yeah, come here. No? Yeah. But uh, yeah. yeah, the people are afraid. Yeah. No. No. Yeah. Was there a time where you felt you didn't want to be here, or it never has never happened to you? I have to think about it. Mm. No, I don't know. No. That's nice, isn't it? Do you, yeah, well, I, don't, I don't have anything. No. Yeah. What, what would you say to ask you back? So what, do you have, did you, did something happen to you? Um, I've, I've had some, I've had some major, yeah, so, um, some challenges in that here, um, financially in that as well. Um, and uh, with, uh, you know, investments and people that I've worked for who have done the dirty on me, you know, and uh, um, with my wife and that's where we had a, a few conversations and sat down and, and said, you know, you know, do we want to be here? Okay, if we don't want to be here, where do we want to be? Do I want to go back to New Zealand? And I've tried to live in New Zealand three times and I keep on getting pulled back over here. You know, uh, and I lived in London for for six or seven years, yeah, okay. and I've lived in you know in America and Canada, um, and been around India and that for a, a while as well. And we looked at places around Europe, you know, we were Italy or France or other places, but it didn't really match mm. up. Yeah. But the interesting thing about it is, if you're talking about something like bad or not good. Um, it's always um, linking to to business and yes. things and people. Yes. No? Yeah. But I yeah. think nobody, and this was my thought. I think uh, nobody would say Mallorca. I cannot stand Mallorca anymore because no. the traffic, because here, because it's an island. This is what I mean. I have nothing to. S yes. When I feel like, oh, I cannot be on the island. Yeah. So, no. No. People, okay. So you meet people, you learn from it. You know, we all did the same mistakes, and that's yes. maybe why this binds us together. Yeah. You know, because yeah. we went all through the yeah. sometimes no? and people. Yeah, and, <laughs> and, and it's not just um, <clears throat> the friends that we talk to. It's like if you're going to do some paperwork at the government offices, and I've talked about this before, mm. where it can be a challenge, and you have to change your mentality yeah. to the manana lifestyle. Right. Also, yeah, very much, and, and and you go there with the papers. And in the end, especially, I was thinking, okay, well, um, this may not be it. I okay, probably have to come back again at least a couple of times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With that mentality, you get a nice surprise sometimes, and they say to you, oh, no, that's all good, thank you very much, yeah, 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 I'll yeah. let you know, sort no, of thing. So it. it does it, but there, if you want to do it yourself, and you're confident with your Spanish, that's fine, but there are... Um, companies here and all the languages really isn't there and yeah, translators yeah, yeah. to help us through yeah, the process. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's easy here in Mallorca, it's multicultural. Yeah. Very. Yeah. 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 They're open yeah, yeah. for everything. Yeah, no, no, they, they are. And it's, uh, 
it, it's, it's a big help. It really does help us when we're living yeah, here. Yeah. And that's sure. why I think that's why I stayed now. I'm here since 16 years because it's Europe, like you said before. It's Europe. We have the good system here for everything, you know, and it's everything's organized and quite fine. Yeah. A bit slow sometimes, but yes, yeah. it's Europe. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so yeah that's say. the lifestyle though, isn't it? That's yeah. what we're here. Mm. Yeah. You know, just yeah. slow down and not into the rush, rush, rush of the of the city. Yeah. Uh, the big town sort of situations, which, yeah. which is which is good. Yeah. Um, if there is a, a piece of advice that you'd like to give to people who are looking to to, to maybe to move here or mm. who are living mm. here at the mm. moment, mm. Um, what, what would you like to share with them? Like I, um, I would say, like I said before, if you come, don't expect too much. Don't expect that it is the same like in Germany or mm. in other countries. Come with no expectations. I would recommend not to start to come on a Friday and start working on Monday. Yep. Come here, settle down a little bit, find your place where you want to live, start somewhere and see. Come with some budget and see like three, four months. Yes. Also the people, do you really want to live? Because some people, are, they, they move to the countryside because they want to be with the Spanish and the Mallorquin because they're real Mallorca, but they're yes. all moving away because nobody's talking to them yeah. if they don't speak Spanish and things, all these stories. Yeah. So, Find your place first, yes. come here, make some friends, some, some connections and then, like I said before, be reliable, yeah. don't talk too much rubbish yes. and um, yeah. 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 be nice. Yeah. Yeah. And try to go into the culture and into the language a little bit at least. Yes, yeah, yeah. it does help, you know, yeah. to, uh, we can all, <clears throat> I mean, especially improve my Spanish, but I, I get by. But the thing is that, that um, with uh, with the industries that I'm associated with, they all speak English, and you get a bit lazy, mm -hmm. really. Yeah, but yeah. when you make an effort, um, then they are certainly more open and more receptive yeah, yeah. most yeah. of the time. Yeah, yeah. Most of the time, yeah. yeah. Um, when was the time, or do you remember what it felt like when you decided that yes, I want to stay here in Mallorca? Do you remember that time when you think yes, this was this was where I'm going to make my yeah. home for the next sixteen or twenty or thirty yeah, years? I remember this this point. Because it was when I when I just came to the island after maybe three four weeks, um, somebody of my new colleagues they asked me to go out on the paseo. It was 16 years ago it was a bit different, more yes. crowdy and things. So it was the first time um, we had some beer and some fun and uh, some German people were also there. And then I came out of the bar and there was like the the Palma Harbor with all yes. the yachts and the yeah. palm trees and the sun like, going down. I said, like, wow, this is really cool. I just come out, can I come out of a bar and I see this and this is quite normal for me now, you know, where yes. people, other people yeah. make holidays. And I decided, oh, this is quite cool. Yeah. I like yeah. it. I like yeah. the atmosphere. Yeah, so, so that was that feeling. Yeah, 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 there was that feeling where I say, oh, wow. Yeah. I could have this every yeah. day or yeah. for yeah. longer. Yeah. yeah, and you have. And you yeah, have and yeah, I did. Yeah, you yeah. Have to have that. What else do you love about um, about Mallorca and the island? Like the, besides the weather's always good, the food, the the culture. The most most of the people they say it's the weather. I don't. I, I like the weather, but it's like I'm used to it now. You know, we have nice weather, but I like also rainy days and things. Mm -hmm. I like that we have a season, you know, not in other kind like in other countries, yeah, where it's always 30 degrees, yeah, no no yes. winter. Yeah. I like this on Mallorca to have a season. Yeah. yeah. Uh, also with the people and the tourists, I like this. Um, I like that um, people are very open here, even uh, very nationality. Yeah, you meet a lot of nationalities here. And everybody has his own story where they come from and say, this is what I like. Sometimes you sit with 10 people and they have like nine nationalities. Yes. You speak one language, maybe Spanish, maybe English. It brings people together and the energy that everybody tries to do something here, mm. tries to survive, tries to live and, uh, um, and respect the island also. Yeah? I don't know anyone who's uh, not respecting, like yes. putting rubbish everywhere, blah, blah, blah. I don't know anyone, so we respect it, and uh, this is what I like. So the, the, the general feeling I like. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. And I know because obviously we've known each other for, for a little while now, yeah. not a, um, a, a huge amount of time, but <clears throat> where you are living now, I mean, you, uh, when I contact you, you seem to have a, like, a morning routine. Yeah, yeah, we have you know, yeah, 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 that yeah. before you get into work, which is nice. Do you want to share a little bit about yeah, that? Yeah, this is really nice. So I can really recommend it to everybody. <laughs> no, I, I, I read something about it, the morning routine, that is quite important. And I found my one is like, I, I wake up half past seven or seven. I go swimming just quickly and then I 
get my dog, I go to, into the park in the Velvet, uh, Castle Velvet, and then there's a nice cafe where we can sit down, have a coffee, some people always are there, you have a coffee and a little croissant, and it's, yeah. it's really nice, and at half past nine, ten, I'm in the office, and until then I did something, I, yes. I did sport, I did something nice with my dog, I, had, yeah. I met some people, I had a coffee, yeah. it's a good yeah. start yeah. of the day, I can really recommend it to everyone, yeah. to find something. Yeah, you know? yeah. 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 it's a beautiful way to, to start the day, yeah, yeah. doing yeah. those things where you're not just going straight into your office work. And don't think like, ah, coffee is not good no, if you drink it, but if you really enjoy it and it's one coffee in the morning yes. and you really yes. then do yes. it because yes. it makes you happy and then yeah. it's, it's good for you. Yeah, very much so. And also with the um, you know the community that you've got up there because every time I've met you up there yeah, there's yeah, always yeah, been right, yeah, at least one two or three or something <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. full table yeah, yeah, yeah. you know of, of people there which is which is but this, is, this brings us back now what um, how can you do it here on Mallorca just be nice to the people you see you know like you sit yes. there have a coffee and then you talk to, yes. to 10 people no? yes. yeah. yeah 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 it, it's very much the way of you know if you're English and you're coming out here you know don't expect to have fish and chips yeah. you know or the steak or things and have, yeah. the, have your beers and that yeah, yeah, if you're yeah, German yeah, yeah. I mean it'd be the same as well don't expect that but to, <coughs> there are places you can have that for yeah. sure isn't yeah. it yeah, yeah. but to have some of the local food and the Mediterranean diet is healthier yeah, yeah. yeah uh, for sure. I think uh, the average age of people in Spain is much higher than in Germany or in, in England. Right, right? yes, yeah. yeah I think yeah. about 10 years or something. Yes, it's yeah. a lot. Yeah, really, well, it, it yeah. is a lot. And I remember when I first came here oh, many, many, many years ago, and um, there was a survey in, in Germany at the time, and the government was quite shocked because like 85% of the retirees wanted to move to New York. Oh yeah, really? 85? 85%, oh. which is really high. But um, but I think that, is, that has changed now with everything that's going on. Or oh, not, I don't know. Yeah. There are a lot of Germans here, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> but it's not only them, but it's, it's, it's multicultural from all around the world. And yeah. now we've got the flights from America opening yeah, up yeah. a lot more. Mm. There's a lot mm. more Americans. You can hear the accents. Mm. And, and you can feel and see that there is a lot moving still no? yes. so the new paseo and the new harbor there and things yes. you know, there yes. will be a lot yeah more yeah maybe. yeah yeah no they're making a lot of lot of changes and the, um, the company a lot of people around europe will know it is either pronounced ikea or ikea, IKEA. um it does very well here yeah, because it's such a transient island in a way yeah, of course. so yeah. um you know the, the furniture that um the the pack and yeah, yeah, all yeah, kind of things yeah. is, is, is that's good no? um, because Everybody finds a job here. If you're a worker or a manager or something, there's a job for everything. Somebody has to repair the cars and the bikes and everything. So yes, yes. Something yeah. for everyone. Yeah. The no, boats. And yeah, yeah, yeah. There is. I mean, yeah, the yachting industry is a big industry, but as you said, there's a lot of other yeah. industries that aren't yeah, there. No, so no. there is normally work around. Yeah, no. yeah. So, yeah, yeah, good, good, good. Is there anything else that you'd like to, to share with people um, about Mallorca that you? That you like, that you love, that you enjoy, that's different from anywhere else? Yeah, um, yeah maybe one thing. Um, I, I saw a lot of countries in the world yeah, um, in, in my time traveling, um, but I have to say, you find everything also on Mallorca. You have the sea, you have an island, you have the mountains. Yeah, it's not that high, but it is mountains if you've ever been to the Puig Mayor yes. uh, or Puig Bonient. It's really high, and, or Galazzo, yeah, it's yes. not easy to do. Yeah. Um, you have the culture, you have party, you have everything here. So Mallorca combines everything in my eyes. Yeah. Uh, even also South America and things, you know, because, yeah. Or, yeah. They're, they're all here. Yeah, yeah. And as you said before, as a suggestion, come here, have a look, live yeah. here for a yeah. little while, yeah. and then choose your seasons, because yeah. that's important. If you're going to be here at winter time, there's not that much happening. There's yeah. still a lot, but yeah. it's very, very you know, close-knit. And then in the summertime you get the heat. Yeah. And you know, can you handle the heat? Yeah, yeah. Can you handle the heat? It's not easy. Yeah? No, 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 no. That's true. So you know, have a look, have a look at that, and just um, and just see what is comfortable. And the off season, I think, is a good time to come. And yeah. You get a feel. Yeah. 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 What's, yeah. what's going on there from there? So you slide into the heat. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, generally, I'm sliding into the water every day. <laughs> yeah, very much so. And even even in the winter time, you know, I'm swimming three times a week normally. Oh, yeah. The whole the sea. Uh, all, all, all year oh, round, good. which is nice because, yeah. and I joke that the 
the the sea temperature here in the winter is like the sea temperature in New Zealand yeah. in the summertime, yeah. especially down the South so Island. You know? No difference for yeah. you. <laughs> no, 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 and it's a good way. And it's, and the lifestyle. I mean, you know, you have your routine. I have my routine. I'm up very early in the morning, a lot earlier than you. Um, I'm meditating, um, doing some yoga, maybe doing some exercises and that as well before you know the girls get up, and then it's into into the day. And, and we've got that stage. My, my part is taken care of, like your part is taken care of yeah. your routine yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, from there. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. yeah nice, nice. it is. It is. It is nice. So, yeah, Ste Stefan, thank you. Thanks for coming in here. Thank you. Really cool. Here. Yeah, Check. very, very yeah. good. And uh, thank you, everyone, for, for listening and watching to the uh, Becoming Pod... That's uh, Becoming. That's the other one. The <laughs> Storytellers of Mallorca podcast. Um, and if there's any information that you'd like, you know, let us know and we can pass on some of that information for you. Um, again, Stefan, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you. Have a good day. And yeah. Nice thank you very you. much. And for the, the STOM community, thanks again for, for, uh, for listening in and uh, seeing what we're doing. Bye for now.